Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. This video is an in-depth overview of the Add Portfolio page on Learning Genie. I will be using the demo class as an example, so feel free to follow along with me. Let's dive in there. To access the Add Portfolio page, go ahead and tap the red plus icon in the top right corner of the page. The Add Portfolio page has three basic sections. You have your text, you have your tags, also known as your measures, and you have your children. Those are the three basic requirements to create an observation. However, this page does have a lot more tricks up its sleeve. Let's go over them one by one together. Let's direct our focus towards the top right corner of this page. One is the draft icon, and then one is the blue check mark. The draft icon allows you to save your observations as a draft. The blue check mark allows you to publish your observations right away. Now let's take a look at the green hold to talk button towards the left hand side of the page. This button allows you to speak directly into your iPad and your words will automatically be transcribed to text. If you are new to Learning Genie, however, you may need to allow the Learning Genie app to access some of your device's features. In this case, this button will be using the microphone along with the speech recognition software to provide the transcriptions. Let's go ahead and try this button out. We love Learning Genie! Exclamation point. Perfect. Now, let's take a look towards the right-hand side of this page. You should see four colorful icons. The teal icon accesses your camera roll, so you can upload photos and videos that you have previously taken. The yellow icon accesses your camera and allows you to take a photo directly on Learning Genie. The red icon accesses your camera as well and allows you to record a video directly on Learning Genie. And finally, the purple icon allows you to create an audio recording. As I mentioned previously, you may need to allow permission for the Learning Genie app to access your camera roll, your camera, and your microphone. If those permissions have been denied, you will not be able to use these features. Here at Learning Genie, we value your security. We do not record or store any information. Now let's take a look at the reference button towards the bottom left hand section of your screen. This button allows you to access your current framework's PDF packet. In this case, the demo class is set under the DRDP 2015 infant toddler view. If for any reason you need to refer to your framework packet, you can do so here. Right next to the reference button, you have the update entry date button. This button allows you to backdate an observation if need be. Go ahead and tap on it and select the date you wish to backdate the post to and then hit done. Please keep in mind that you cannot feature date posts. Right next to the backdate button, you have the share and engagement button. This particular button will only appear if your agency has the family engagement module. This allows you to simultaneously share your observations with your children's parents. Lastly, right above the share and engagement button is a tiny checkbox. Tapping this checkbox will select each child in your classroom to tag them in this observation. 